in reference to demons there was this quote in the book and it says we are not meant to fear them because they are powerful but because we ourselves are so easily misled i love it i just fucking love it what is up you guys i am back and i have a review for you guys today i just recently finished reading like yesterday aleph the unseen by g willow wilson oh my gosh people this book was amazing it was so good aleph the unseen is set in the middle east it is about this arab indian hacker i think that he's like 23 so i want to say boy but he's not a boy he's a guy so yeah he's a hacker he falls in love with this girl she is from a whole different background um eventually she gets betrothed to someone else and simultaneously while that happens there is this force the state and the state has hired another hacker called the hand that was hired to take down aleph and his group they find out who he is and they go to his home and he has to go on the run and he goes on the run with his next door neighbor that he's known for forever and the story just unfolds from there you know how sometimes when you read a book and you don't quite understand every single thing that is going on all at once but you just know that what you're reading is something really great and profound and beautiful and you just love it you just love it you love it and I am gonna need to reread this book I'm pretty positive that I did not catch everything and get out of this book everything that it had to offer there's a sentence in the back that is describing the book and it says a sophisticated melting pot of ideas philosophy technology and spirituality smuggled inside an irresistible page turner damn it if that don't explain the book in detail I don't know what else will that this book it was so great the characters were great they were realistic they did things that made sense you have Aleph who is the main character the hacker Dina who is his next-door neighbor and who has to go on the run with him because she decides to help him and she's one of the only girls in her area that decided to veil herself she's traditional but she's still smart and sassy and she has her own mind and she was a great character then you have Vikram the vampire who was freaking hilarious and weird and snarky and rude and disgusting but noble and honorable and I think those are kind of like the same words everything was weaved in together so well and I just really love this book. I didn't know that I was going to be reviewing this book until after I finished it and I wish that I had upset my mind to wanting to review it from Jump because then I would have tabbed a whole lot of things and man this book would have been lit up with some tabs because it just had so much great philosophy. There was a part in there talking about um, translations of religious texts and how um, it's so imperative when the Quran is read that it is read in a certain way because any other inflections or different languages are going to mean totally different things. It was saying how uh, translations really shouldn't be called translations, they should be called interpretations because there are some things in certain languages that just you can't explain in other languages. It's It just doesn't mean exactly the same thing and I really think that you guys should read it. It is not at all a fast read like in the sense that you know how some books you can kind of skip certain things because you basically know what it's gonna say not here mm -mm. if you skip a line you missed a whole story but it is definitely a page turner not fast paced but a page turner it was it's it's just great it's just great I just it's I just I can't the word I'm not my brain is not big enough to find all the words to describe this book properly. I just know that I will definitely be rereading this book and probably multiple times. I just, uh, I can't, I, you know guys, you know I do not reread books. This book was just great. It was great, you guys should read it. Five out of five stars, 25 out of five stars, 16 out of five stars, 300 out of five stars 
whatever. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in my belly and I will talk to you guys later.